Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. My name is Greg Keo. I'm the vice president of Sondas Advertisement Company, and I cannot make it to the meeting because of the weather. Due to the weather, can't fly out to Los Angeles. But I'll be analyzing two commercials using the six uh, cultural myths. And uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is the Be Like Mike, which is a Gatorade commercial that has uh, Michael Jordan in it. And it shows average people, everyday people, you know, that uh, idolize uh, Michael Jordan and see that he's drinking Gatorade and that because he's drinking Gatorade, he's making all these shots and he's an outstanding player. So these kids, young adults and kids, are also drinking Gatorade and doing the same thing that he's doing. This commercial applies to the possibility of success. The fact that they are drinking Gatorade like he is, they will play just like Mike. And at the time, or still to this day, Michael Jordan is one of the best athletes of all time. Uh, this kind of really shows that uh, it kind of appeals in the sense of um, ethos because it's, he's a credible he's a credible person. He's won six not, uh, six NBA titles, um, multiple All Star winner, um, and so he's incredible in that fact that credible in that fact that he is a great basketball player. And um, so I approve of this commercial because it really hits the demographic that it meant to hit. Uh, it really uh, appeals to uh, teens and adults in their mid-20s, I would say up to their mid-20s. And not only does it target men, but there's also women um, taking shots and playing and laying up and drinking Gatorade. So it doesn't single out just the male population, which I feel like most companies would do such a thing in, in a, a kind of sports ar uh, arena. But it, it really hits the male and female demographic. And I really approve of that. The fact that it uses ethos of Michael having Michael Jordan, someone like Michael Jordan, someone that's known to win, someone that can win and has won um, often, I think that's a, that was a great idea by them. So I definitely approve of that. Um, it also uses pathos in the sense of like, you know, he's smiling, he's laughing. Um, in the beginning of the commercial, he's talking to a younger boy and, you know, giving him tips. So it just definitely brings that emotional appeal that, you know, uh, he, he's a nice guy and, uh, you know, he'll do whatever helps and like, he, he's funny and he'll bring out that good feeling. So I, I think it's a good feeling. It also has a, a song that um, people are singing, Be Like, I Just Want to Be Like Mike. So I think that also hits and resonates with the crowd and the consumer watching it because, you know, it's a nice little catchy tune that if you watch once or twice, you probably have stuck in your head for the rest of the day. The second commercial I'll be um, analyzing is uh, Axe commercial, which it, it has, features a lifeguard who's sitting there and he just used axe body spray and um, a young female is stranded in the water surrounded by a shark and uh, the, he runs out there with no hesitation and starts beating it up punching and kicking the shark and he saves her brings her out to the water and um, gives her mouth to mouth and it this uh, uses the coming of a messiah um, myth, which is, you know, this guy, because he's used Ash, he's brave, he's a hero, he came out and put himself in danger to save this young woman because of the fact that he used the Axe body spray. Um, I think it was, I think it was expect effective in the sense of that it really grabs attention of the viewers. It, um, it hits the demographic. Axe is a men's body fragrance. It hits men, uh, the, the age group of men from teenage years to, Mid twenties also, and I think that it really works. It uses the whole um, appeal of Messiah. You know, everyone wants to be a hero. Everyone wants to be able to be brave and save someone. You know, not you know, you, you kind of single yourself out of the crowd. So it really is a strong um, commercial, and I, I and I like it, and I think it's a great ad for them. Um, so those are the two commercials that I've analyzed, and I approve of both they both are different in some aspects so uh, thank you for joining me and i hope you uh appreciate my presentation and uh thank you for taking out the time of your day to hear what i have to say i'm sorry i couldn't make it but once again have a good evening and enjoy your day thank you